Hello, today I am going to be talking to you guys about how to use Google Forms to set up a client intake form for your business. Um, so if you are a designer or a web developer or a graphic designer or anyone offering some type of similar service, you probably have a process you use to gather information from your clients or your potential clients about their project, um, their preferences, what they are looking for from you, and so on and so forth. A lot of um, established businesses or people who really have their shit together have these forms embedded in their website. Um, and if you do already, that's great. And you probably don't need to watch this video. But I am going to show you a super lo-fi way to do this today if you don't have it embedded in your website or maybe you don't have a website or maybe for whatever reason um, you have a client who needs to fill out this form in a different way. So I, up until now, have been using Google Forms to do this for my own business because I don't yet have a form on my website because my business is very new. Um, this is just one of those things that's kind of a low priority for me <laughs> right now. So I am using Google Forms and I think it's really efficient and I wanted to show you how you can do this too. So even if you're not offering a service or something, this can be a great way to gather information from people um, for a lot of different things. So it's really easy to do to set up these questionnaires and send them out to your customers or your potential customers. Right now we're looking at one of the forms that I actually use for my business. This actually went out to a client the other day. Um, as you can see, it's got my logo really nice and big at the top. It's The colors used are um, in line with what colors are on my website so there's a lot of flexibility with what you can do um, to kind of like brand this for your company. Um, you see I have a bunch of questions, different types of uh, text forms, there's some checkbox questions, uh, and then there's a submit button at the bottom. So pretty straightforward and easy. This is what when when I send the link to um, my design questionnaire to clients, this is the form that they, this is what they see when they click the link. So this is actually like what the end user will see when they fill out your Google form. Um, so I'm also going to show you quickly where you go to see the results of the form. So when you um, create your form, you'll do it in Google Drive. Um, and then when people start responding, you can go to view responses there at the top and you'll be in this Excel spreadsheet and your questions are here along the top and if they have answers filled out, they'll be down here in these cells. So this is great because if you have a questionnaire that's going out to more than one person, like maybe you're doing um, like a survey or you have a design questionnaire that needs to be filled out by a few different people at an organization, you can send them the same form and then their various answers can be recorded here. Um, just be sure that if you're expecting multiple answers, to be sure to, if you need it, ask for some identifying information like a name or an email address or some, some way you can remember who gave what answers. So, rookie mistake, uh, don't do what I've made a mistake at and be sure to collect that if you need that information. So, I'm going to quickly show you how to go ahead and make the form. Um, I'm just going to pop open... You can either do this right from your drive, so go just to new um, and then Google Form. The other way you can do this is there um, if you search for Google Forms on uh, the internet, you will um, you can link to it that way too. So just get to the Google Forms page um, somehow. I will go back into my drive and just click new again and Google form. Um, and now you are in a new blank form. So give your form a title, um, add some questions. If you want help text to, to guide the user toward answering the question, for example, like, um, 
what is your business? And then you could say, please enter your business name. Then you'll choose the question type. This is where you can um, choose if you want it to be like a text answer or a multiple choice or um, whatever you need. So this will be a text answer. You can set some advanced settings, like if you have some data validation you want them to do, you can set that here. And if you want it to be required, be sure to check the box. When you're done, it'll give you a little preview. So we said our question was, what is your business? Please enter your business name as the helper text. And there's a little star next to it you can see. Um, that means it's a required uh, question on the form. So pretty easy. Um, here at the bottom is where you set up what you want the response to be. So maybe you're driving them to do something else after they fill out the form, or maybe you just want this to be a little more personable than the generic answer. You can put that here. So we'll say thank you for filling out the design questionnaire. Please, vi oh, I don't know how to spell today. Please visit builditsociety.com to view our portfolio of past work or what, whatever you wanted to say. You can drive them toward there. You can choose if you want them to be able to submit another response to your form. I don't. Um, you can choose whether you want to show uh, the other the results of others who have filled out your form. So maybe you're doing like a survey and you, you're asking for people to vote on something and you want to show them like at, after they submit their vote, you can show them like 40% of the people said yes, 60% of people said no, or whatever. You can show them the responses. And then you can allow them to edit their responses after submitting if you'd like as well. So that's kind of how you set up your form. Um, the the um, other thing is you can, you can get kind of fancy with how your form is laid out um, when you're adding new items. So you can add like a section header. Maybe you have one section of your questionnaire that covers like basic business information and another that goes into design preferences and another that goes into, um, you know, administrative stuff like payment information or whatever. You can break it into sections. You can break it into different pages. You can add images, videos. It's it. You can get really fancy with it. So play around with it. Um, and get this to what you want it to look like for it to be a useful form for you. The other thing you can do, um, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is edit your theme. So Google provides you with a bunch of like cool and interesting built-in themes um, that are pretty neat that you can play around with if you are interested to kind of brand this how you'd like. Or you can just like go completely off the rails and um, do like a custom themed. So um, just select the basic theme and then you can click customize and you can customize all the different things, your header, maybe you want um, some different fonts on the different sections and so on and so forth. The page background, you can add, add it like an image for it or whatever, uh, whatever you want to do. So you can get really flexible with it and it's really like a great way to brand this form specifically for your business if that is what you're interested in doing. Um, there's a, ver a variety of ways once you have your form and you're happy with it, you, you, you'll send it to customers here. You can choose to either copy a URL and you, I would say like grab the short URL just as it looks a little prettier or you can send it through email or social media. Um, there's also ways to integrate this form with your website if you'd like. Maybe you want to um, embed a, a form in your blog post or embed it in a page of your website or put a link to it on your website. Maybe you say like, thank you for your interest in working with me. Um, if you'd like to sign up for a slot on my design calendar, please fill out this form and I will contact you and then have a button that links to this form and they can fill it out right there. That's a really easy way to make it look professional without actually having to like code the form into your website itself. And it really depends, like your options 
depend a little it'll depend a little on like who your who designed your website do you have full control over the code is it wordpress is it squarespace is it total custom code so but there's a lot of options and i think google forms is a really um, easy way to get a professional looking intake form or run surveys that look really professional and branded to you without spending a lot of money and without investing a lot of time so go create google forms i hope this video helped you if you have any questions um, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. If you have any suggestions for other ways to do this or other ideas on Google Forms or intake forms or anything related to the topics that we discussed in this video, please feel free to start that conversation in the comment section as well. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.